hello and welcome aboard again my wonderful community in today's video we'll be learning about hot cues and cue points in general so why is the concept of this hot cue and cue point very very important at this very stage of djing we live in a, in a dj world where audience now have low retention rate what do you mean by low retention rate go and ask your grandfather they don't want to be listening to a track for a very long period of time they are always expecting as a dj as you load one track they are already expecting the next one as you are moving to another one they are expecting the next one so how do you meet up with all this okay. if you don't have your cue point properly set look at you eh? you can now see that it's now a very big challenge that is why i said earlier that it's going to be very difficult for you to have an ai that will do this job because the ai does not have that possibility of connecting with people in real life yes it has to follow its own convention but djing career has more of a craft driven convention than an act so it's not something you just write and wait for it to be executed you have to flow with it so building that good style that, style that you really want to achieve a style that your audience will connect to and a style that whenever you're coming on board people are always looking for it because that is what will really make you successful as a dj at the end of the day and not be doing things crappy things and be expecting people to like what you are doing it doesn't work that way and it will cost you a lot of effort a lot of investment a lot of energy to get to that very stage so but before you get to that very stage you need to understand that your cue point has very great effect on what everything you are going to be doing because if you look at my cue point here you can see there should always be a little gap between the starting of the song and this will mean that you must understand how your device interacts with you that is why your amplifiers and all other de devices must be very smart they must respond effectively the way you expect them to respond starting from how, when you are tapping your keys whether on the controller or you are tapping your hot cues or whatsoever you are having and then you need to have a clear understanding that your cue point you need to understand that your cues and your hot cues are not 100 percent the same so you need to understand the differences between how these two elements behave before you can combine them to get the type of results you are looking for whether whether if you want to drop scratches or you want to scratch or you want to transition getting to understand these two elements how they interact matters a lot while one will allow you to operate within a short span of time the other one can allow you to long between the complete concept of your mix of the track and this means the mapping of your controller or your dj gear really matters a lot that is why in a present day world for you to enjoy that connection you need to have a clear understanding of your mappings and this invariably means that your headphone how does it react with your dj gear also matters because you cannot be telling your audience to wait for you that you want to drop the next track or you want to mix or you want to do transition they don't have that luxury of time you'll be the one that will really study it and you connect with it and you get to build it just like from what you can see from my briefing through here when i'm trying to scratch we get to see so this is it so you can see how this complete play for common board if i want to drop it i'll just do like so you can see how within the smart move you can see the smart move i just made so this is why for those who have sent me a couple of videos asking me ah they saw this type of uh, style of uh, mix they really love it ah, i should tell them or i should give them the mapping for it and whatsoever a lot of them will understand most of the time that i don't really attend to search because most of the time when you have a faulty foundation over something it's going to be very difficult for you to really get the best out of it because the bitter truth here is these mappings the way they operate when i ask you to get it from my online store when it comes to programming in general there are programming convention which is also an extension of mapping but when it comes to the mapping level it is actually at a much more higher level but 
in as much as it is at a higher level there are a concept of putting up all these things to get the type of result you want so that is why when i ask you to get this very one i know exactly what i'm saying because it takes beyond just writing a sentence or thinking you know how to write a b c d then you now feel you can write a full sentence or because you know how to make a sentence you now think you cannot write a full book it takes beyond that take a very good example here this right up so if somebody make a sentence this is a boy it doesn't mean that the person who makes a sentence this is a boy and the person who makes this same sentence is this a boy in as much as there is boy in the two sentences it doesn't mean both of them are the same they have different execution contact context most of you are ignorant of the context of execution when it comes to this mapping that is why sometimes you underestimate what this mapping can do that is why for those who have access to some of to one or two of my mapping if you tap on any of the alphabet and you decide to visit it you see it's a very long it's just a simple simple command but why is it having so much right up there there are a lot of technicalities that are involved that you don't know so you actually because you don't know you are ignorant you think that little stuff you are trying to do trial and error you think it will give you exact same thing that i'm doing here it's not possible even those videos you get to see if you want to do something it takes much more higher effect effect to get those things done perfectly so that is the truth so I try to be elaborate in most of my videos so that you get to appreciate how some of these things are and it takes a lot of effort and it will cost you a lot of money to get those knowledge. The programming environment is not an environment where you think you can learn it in a 2 minute video or in a 5 minute video or even in a 3 hour video. It takes more than that. There are people that have a full career path. They have been doing some of these things for the past 10-15 years. So that is what makes draw the line anybody can claim he knows how to design a website but by the time the real chips are done you get to see the boys from the men everybody will fizzle out so that is how the concept of this mapping is so it's beyond just those tiny tiny stuff you are busy deceiving yourself with that is why if you watch my video you get to see how i mix you look like you will think i'm not doing anything because the mapping has taken care of a larger portion of the work that is how difficult these things can be and you need to understand that when you are talking of mapping you are talking about the global variable and the local variable and even the native operating level so these things are not something that you can look at it in the next two minutes and you think you know it so i believe you really learned something in this video so all these things are very very important for you as a dj if you really want to master what you are doing even the controllers you are using, you get to see those knobs, everything. Even the virtual DJ software and any other software. If they should give you the real code that runs at the background when you are operating this device, you'll be shocked. You might spend the next 4-5 years trying to read it. You will not even understand every single thing that is written there. So when you get to see some of these companies making it mandatory to pay monthly subscription to access their full features or yearly features, you will think they are trying to put so much pressure on you. The programming environment is capital intensive. It's not really cheap the way some people think. It's capital intensive, it takes a lot of money and effort to put even the most simplest script that you can think of. That is the truth. So I'm not just trying to say this to scare you, but it's to let you understand or to appreciate what is actually going on when it comes to not only the DJ's environment but even the complete system so I'll be putting up a, a detailed video maybe soon but it's going to be strictly on request for those who are interested who really want to learn how these things really work because you don't want to be bombarding it to people who don't really need it because it takes a lot of commitment you need to be committed in getting some of these things done the proper way so I believe you really learned something in this video and i'll be putting more in that regard so I'll catch you in my next video as we get to appreciate what the concept of setting cue point and other things are doing so try to invest a lot of time to understand these things and practice it will really be of help Let go free, tell my bridge, tell my bridge.
bridge, come on, bridge, come on, bridge, fire. Yeah. 